Why were the police questioning you about that night? They questioned everyone, but I got to her first when she fell. As if that weren't hard enough. No, no, I want to help. I want them to know that my uncle would never hurt Catherine and to... and to arrest the person who did. And why would that bring my name into it? Well, you know very well. Why? Because of my uncle's feelings for you. Are you talking about the closeness that we had when uh, we were in Greece? Look, I've explained all of that to you. Listen, he dressed Catherine in your gown. He gave her your ring. He had a portrait of you hidden in the house. He had a trunk full of your things when you were married to my father. I mean... No, Cassidine things. Things that your father chose for me when I was married to him. They were family heirlooms. My God, if he held on to him, that's obviously the reason why. Obvious? Uh, no, I don't think it's as obvious as all that. Well, what are you suggesting? Are you saying that you think your uncle is in love with me? Nicholas, come on. You know that he blames me for everything. You've heard him ridicule me, insult me. You can love and hate someone at the same time. What I think isn't the point. It's how it seemed to Catherine. My uncle and Catherine were fighting on that parapet before she fell. Is it about you? Well, you can't tell the police that. You don't know what they were fighting about. It wouldn't matter to you if I did. So let's be perfectly honest here for a second, okay? You let my uncle hang from the highest tree rather than let the truth come out because you know Luke would come running with the same questions I'm asking you right now. There's one person that you'll always protect. It's Luke. How could you endanger my son that way? Your nephew, Luke, he trusts you. Lucas was not out of my sight for a second. Well, Carly only looked away from Michael for a minute. Tony didn't want to kidnap Lucas. He only wanted to see him. And you know this how? Because Tony said so? Luke, I ate and slept and dressed and worked with the man for eight years. You think you know him better than I do? What if you had been wrong? What if Tony had the car packed and waiting and a nice little house in Saskatchewan already? What would you have told me if he had disappeared with my son? That Lucas had died? Oh, well, what the heck? It worked once before, didn't it? All right, look, are you more angry with me now than you were then or less? Because I'm going to need a little help trying to figure out the grovel factor here. You know, lying to me about Carly was unforgivable. But this might even be worse because it just doesn't make any sense at all. Do you recognize these people? They used to be your family. You used to care about them. Me too. We were the kids who didn't have anybody else. You made it your job to protect me, Luke. God help us both. <laughs> and wrong as it was, I knew that's what you were doing when you told me my daughter had died. But this, Luke, <laughs> there's only two ways this could have possibly turned out. Either I'd have lost my son for good. Hey, that, that wasn't going to happen. Or you'd have forced me to banish you from my home, maybe wash my hands of you for good. Is that what you had in mind? Last dance at Luke's big self-destruct party? Then you'd have succeeded in being rejected by everyone but the dog. Look, Barbara, please, if you're going to do this insight thing, why don't you just save it for your patience? As long as I've known you, you've been tugging at my shirt tail, you and Laura, trying to pull me back from the edge, trying to pull me back from the point of no return. Well, if I finally reach that point, do yourself a favor. Cut me loose. Let me go. Say goodbye. looking for a baseball you lost. No, I'm Lucky Spencer, okay? Listen. Oh, yeah. No, look, everything is cool, so just go check on a car alarm or yeah, something. Yeah, why don't you come oh, with me? Oh, listen, you know me. Have I ever mugged anyone? No. So why are you doing this to me, man? If we haul you in often enough, maybe your parents will step up and take some responsibility for you. Oh, Elizabeth, get out now! Elizabeth! Huh? Are you gonna tell me what this is really about? This is not about the final, is it? I can't 
Lurking in the lilacs with a baseball bat. Have a seat, Mr. I don't want to see it. I want someone to go back to the park right now and check on Elizabeth Weber. Weber, is that the girl that you came in here with? Yes, yes, you remember. Now, what does she and a baseball bat... Damn it, bat Taggart, you? listen to me. She's out there alone, and I told her I would protect her. I said, have a seat, Mr. Spencer. I did not break any laws. You can't keep me here. Trust me. I can keep you here. That's an understatement, but not important. Maybe it is. It's hard enough on me to have Lucky questioning my feelings for his father. But you know, you haven't even had the chance to know my husband. And you think to know him is to love him? Okay, I won't go that far. And he has treated you abominably. I, I won't make any excuses for that. Sure you will. You have. You know, sometimes I think of this house the same way Lucky thinks of my house back in Greece. You're a prisoner here. Look, if you want, if you want to tell me about Luke, then then maybe you should. Luke knows me and understands me, the good and the bad. But I always let the bad surprise him. He's not a selfless person, but he always thinks of me first. Having a home, wife and kids, those are things that he never thought that he would have. So he never takes me for granted. He has never been unfaithful to me, and he never will be. That I know like I know my name. But that one night, 20 years ago, it was one night. I don't punish him for it. I don't throw it back in his face. I wasn't blameless. Luke knows that, but he would never say it, not even in his own defense. I mean, yes, he hurt me. But he was sorry. And I forgave him. Isn't that what God asks us to do? I didn't do it because of God. I did it because I knew that I loved him anyway. And I wanted my life to move on. I see. Do you? Yeah, sure. Sure. The only crimes that are unforgiven are the crimes of the Cassidines. That's, that's me. And that's why I'm the other child, and they're your real family. Nicholas. Now, if I can accept it, why can't you? Huh? I mean, that's what you've been saying all along about Luke. Yes, what can I do for you, detective? Is he all right? Yeah, I'm on my way. Uh, Nicholas. Oh. 
You have to tell me whether or not I should be asking you this, but could you possibly stay here with your sister until I get back? I, I won't be long. Yeah, sure. So which one of your, uh, your boys are the police entertaining today? Bucky seems to be the center of some misunderstanding. I don't consider this conversation over. Just go. Go be with your family. Hey, Chip. Off the old block, I mean. I know you're busy feeling misunderstood, but I thought you might like to know I did send a unit over to the park to look for your friend, Weber. She wasn't there. Why is he handcuffed? Miss Spencer, you remember me. I'm flattered. You were away. That's right. I'm sorry, I forget. Were you dead or in Switzerland? You can release my son now. Is he worth a hundred bucks to you? In answer to your first question, he wasn't too cooperative. It wasn't the mouthing off so much as the fact that he refused to stay put and then he gave Officer Pasco such a hard time that now I have a citation for you to look at, a fine to pay. It's a mess. All right. Where can I pay? I'd love to show you. You see how smoothly they operate? Just think, for a small investment, you could actually keep your child home. Lucky, wait a minute. Elizabeth could be in trouble. What do you mean? Unlike you, she wants to punish the guy who raped her. Well, you don't need a restraining order. I'll keep my distance from you and the rug rat. I don't need you to never darken my doorstep. Hollering you is working just fine for me. Hey, who's doing this to you? Laura? Bobby, come on. She isn't to blame for anything. <laughs> okay, I've heard that tune before. It's true. And what is it? What is making you so... It's not just that you're trying to drive me out of your life. It's like you're trying to erase yourself from yours. Barbara, you always said that Laura and I didn't belong together. Yeah, well, after all this time, I'm willing to concede I just might have been wrong. Well, what if you weren't? What if all this time it's just been the quiet before the storm, and now the storm's hit? Maybe it would have been better to lose her then. Clean. Well, two children later, it's kind of a moot point, don't you think? Anyway, that is the sum total of Bobby Spencer's wisdom of the day. More than you're entitled to, since I'm still furious with you. Don't drink. I'll see you tomorrow. I know, you never count on tomorrow, but... Since it keeps on turning up at my door, I do, so call me an optimist. Good night. Good night. So sorry. Are you okay? Are you all right? What happened to you? What? Well, a cop mistook me for a mugger. It's, uh, it's, I didn't have time to think. What did Marty say? Did he hurt you? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't think so. The 
there was this noise in my head, like a big wave breaking, and I couldn't even tell you, tell you what he did to me. It was like someone took me and just threw me backwards into that night. And I did what I couldn't do then. I ran before I could find anything else. I was such a coward. No, you're not. I'm glad you ran. Listen, if anything happened to you, anything, I... I'm sorry. You have business here? Luke, the police picked up Lucky in the park. <sighs> what happened? I don't know. He, he had a baseball bat. I guess they thought he was going to use it on someone. Well, you know, there's plenty of people around who need a good head bashing. Do you think you're funny? What do you want me to do? Lay down laws that he won't listen to? Assert authority that I don't have anymore? Maybe I should just hurt him in a way he won't recover. Seemed to work with you. I don't get this. I, I, I don't understand what's happening between us. I mean, lucky I can understand. His faith was shaken. His image of us is tarnished. But what lucky found out, we knew already. We lived it, for God's sakes. We, we, we recovered from it. We put it behind us. We loved each other in spite of it. Why is it back now? What difference does it all make now? Why do you love me, Laura? I don't want to talk to you when you're like this. Have I ever given you any reason to doubt that I love you? Are you, well, you want me to believe that there's something wrong with the way I love you? Oh. You are punishing me. You're punishing me for forgiving you. What could be more unfair than that? Okay. Call me when you're sober. like it had something to do with you. Yeah, yeah, I saw her. Mommy had to pay for my bad behavior. <laughs> yeah. I guess she likes to do that, though. All right. I thought I'd pay her back. Here you go. So, you moved into my room yet? I don't want to fight with you right now. Look. You're paranoid, man. I'm just saying, you know, I'm, we may not have our own lake, our own stables, our own guards, but if your uncle's going to be having his mail forwarded to Attica, you may need a new address, too. He's in jail because your father put him there, Lucky. Really? My dad framed your uncle. Oh. Well, you don't see me arguing, do you? But see, this, this whole Sherlock Holmes powers of deduction thing, I don't think it's going to do you any good. Because, you see, charges don't stick to my dad. So I know you got something up your sleeve. Why do you blame Laura for what your father did to her? Well, he couldn't have gotten away with it if she didn't say it was okay. What do you care? I mean, really. Okay, all right. So, you're the one she picked. You're the one she made room for in her life. But because she's not in excruciating pain, you want to hurt her. Is, is that how the logic goes, something like that?
watching your sister. Sure. Anytime. Nicholas, come back whenever you want. To see Leslie Lou. To see me. Whenever you want. <sighs> well, even though Luke and Lucky aren't here, they still won't like it. I tried pleasing everyone else, and that didn't work. Now I'm going to please myself. Okay. 